hey guys welcome back to simply beauty with crystal for part two so after you complete your application with the one-time federal student loan debt relief after you submit that you guys i wanted to show you guys what it looks like but before we get into that make sure you like comment and subscribe don't forget to turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every time i upload another video so right here i already done mine i already submitted mine so you can see it says thank you your application for one-time federal student loan debt relief has been submitted we'll send you an email to confirm uh we received your submission and it's showing the next steps that's going to be um involved with the process it says well process your application we'll review your application determine your eligibility for debt relief and work with your loan servicer to provide your relief unless you hear back from the u.s department of education of our loan server you don't have to take any other action praise god number two says we'll contact you if we need additional information we may need additional information from you to process your application if we do we'll contact you by email with additional instructions the following are examples of situations where we'll follow up with you um one we need additional documentation from you to verify your income Two, if you were enrolled as a dependent student anytime between july the 1st of 2021 and june 30th of 2022 we may need information about your parents income number three we cannot match you to our loan records based on the information provided in your application and then it talks about we'll keep you updated along the way we'll notify you when your application has been approved and sent to your loan servicer to process your debt relief your loan servicer will notify you when your debt relief has been applied and will share any additional information such as updates to your outstanding loan balance and updated monthly payment amount if you still have a balance then it talks about get more information about student loan debt relief for additional details on student loan debt relief include including how debt relief will be applied to your loans go to the student loan debt relief page and then at the bottom it says beware of scams <laughs> that's funny y'all beware of scams you might be contacted by a company ever since i got scammed y'all i've been contacted by people already i've been blocking people people have been sending me emails and etc that's a whole nother story y'all so it says beware of scams you might be contacted by a company saying they will help you get loan discharge forgiveness and cancellation or debt relief for a fee you never have to pay for help with your federal student aid. Make sure you work only with the U.S. Department of Education and your loan services and never reveal your personal information or account password to anyone. Our emails to borrowers come from no reply at studentaid.gov or no reply at debtrelief.studentaid.gov or ed.gov at public dot gov delivery dot com you can report scam attempts to the federal trade commission by calling one eight seven seven three eight two four three five seven or by visiting report fraud dot ftc dot gov so with that being said you guys go ahead and do your application it's very very simple all you're doing is putting in your name um your date of birth your social security number and putting in your name again you guys so make sure y'all like comment subscribe don't forget to turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every time i upload another video shalom peace guys bye